You may have heard the old adage, facts tell and stories sell. Well, it's never been more true. Social media has created the ultimate opportunity for people to engage with your USANA story and through you, benefit from USANA's products. Social media enables you to reach huge audiences in an authentic way. It takes time to learn the ropes, but with a little practice, using social media to grow your USANA business can become a natural, fun, and efficient part of your routine. In order to get social media working for you, there are four things you need to take action on. Brand, stories, platform, and engagement. It's actually pretty easy to go pro in each of these areas, so pay attention. Your personal brand will guide everything you do on social media. It's a combination of what you're offering and how it looks and feels. Remember that what you're offering is more than USANA's products and opportunity. It's you. Your personality, your knowledge, your experiences, your values, your sense of humor. Your brand will attract a specific audience, and they'll come to appreciate the consistency of what you share and how you share it. Here's what you need to do to create your personal brand. First, explore. Think about your favorite brands, whether they're companies, groups, or individuals you follow. Check out their websites and social media pages. What do they stand for? What do they offer? Who do they offer it to? What do they look like? Next, choose your own core values and branding pillars. Naming your core values, personal attributes that are especially important to you, will help you define your brand. Pick three or four. Your branding pillars represent what you want to offer to others. Pick three or four and write them down as well. Now that you've decided on your core values and branding pillars, it's time to craft your brand statement. Your brand statement is a one or two line summary of who you are and what you have to offer. It's your elevator pitch. Here are some examples. As a mother of three committed to lifelong health, I offer empowerment and products that help take the crazy out of motherhood and replace it with joy. I'm a 20-something who believes in being fit and smart and not paying someone else for permission to live my dreams. I found the business and products that can change the world one person at a time. I'm a fitness fanatic with a serious case of wanderlust. I aspire to obtain optimal health on the go and provide a constant reminder that if you feel good, you can conquer the world. Finally, develop a look for your brand. Social media is visual, and strong brands have a clear visual identity. This begins with colors and photography. Go online and grab images that make you feel inspired and excited about your brand. You don't need to be an expert. Start by just dragging and dropping from Google onto your desktop, and from there, right into a Word document. Pinterest makes it easy to put together mood boards. Or you can go old school and cut up magazines to make a collage. As you create your social media profiles and create posts, which we'll talk about in just a second, just be sure to stay true to the look of your brand. It will take time to create imagery that matches your brand, but it's worth it. Soon, you'll be an artiste with a cell phone camera. When you're ready, you can take things to the next level by working with a professional photographer in your area. A picture or a short video can be worth a thousand words or a thousand engagements on social media. The content you share, words, pictures, and videos, are your stories. The first thing to realize is that you have stories to tell. A product testimonial, that's a story. An experience you had which is relevant to your audience, that's a story. A quote or a link from an expert with some commentary from you, that's a story. A selfie is a story too. If you keep your personal brand in mind, it will be easier to craft stories that will consistently add value to your audience. That involves taking the time to understand them and what they need. And don't panic. On social media, most stories are very short. Rarely will you have more than a few lines of text in any single post. Here are some questions that can help you identify great stories already inside and around you. What inspired you to start your adventure with USANA? What's a goal you have in common with your potential customers? Is there a challenge you overcame this week? Did you take a picture recently that you would want to share? What do you wish you knew a year ago? What are some of your favorite books and movies and why? Is there a part of the USANA lifestyle you're particularly enjoying right now? 
One question you can always ask is, what might educate, inspire, or entertain your audience? A story will have more impact if it hooks your audience's senses. Strong visuals are an obvious way to do this. Use pictures and videos as much as possible. And of course, you can use words to set the stage of who, what, where, when, and why. You can even ask a question. Stories are the lifeblood of your social media presence, and you have great stories. Don't spend forever perfecting something before you share it. Because remember, it's your brand, which means that it's the perfect place for you to share your stories. The place where you share your stories and interact with friends and potential customers is your platform. Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and WeChat are just a few of the many social media platforms out there. It can be overwhelming to try and have a presence on all of them, so just choose one or two to get really good at. Where are your potential customers most likely to be spending their time? The answer to that question is a great indicator of which platforms to focus on. Let's say you're really into skincare and you love Cell Aviv. Here's how you might tell stories about that on different platforms. On Instagram, you could share an epic picture of you wearing a mask. On Twitter, you could kick off a conversation about using masks with a funny note. On YouTube, you might upload how-to videos or testimonials that show off the results. On LinkedIn, you could tout your skills as an expert in skincare and invite other pros to join your team. On Facebook, you can do any of these things as long as they're consistent with your brand. As you dig deeper into your preferred social media platforms, you'll discover that each has special tools that can benefit you. For example, Facebook offers a powerful suite of tools that tell you about your audience and let you advertise directly to specific groups. Twitter's hashtags are a quick and easy way to join conversations about common topics. Instagram stories engage audiences in fun visual experiences, like photos and videos of you at a USANA event. Your social media platform is the free tool that can connect you to an almost unlimited number of people who can benefit from your stories. It's the tool that makes sharing and networking so easy, which is the heart of direct selling. And the best thing? For your customers, a life-changing product purchase is literally a couple clicks away from your platform. So, you've created a personal brand. You know how to tell stories. You've picked a social media platform. Now it's time to engage. Engaging on social media is strategically telling stories and interacting with others in a way that builds your audience and adds value to their lives. What does all that mean? It means that you can post your stories consistently, keep them relevant, have conversations, and extend invitations at the right times. This is the foundation for building trust and winning customers online, because people buy from people they trust. But here's the rule. For every seven posts, two of them should be your own content. These are your own pictures, videos, and words. Four of them should be reposts of third-party content. These are other people's stories that you link, copy, or paste. You credit them and say why it's relevant to you. One of them should focus on a USANA product. Share experiences and benefits, of course, keeping in line with USANA's ethics guidelines. You can add beautiful pictures from Share USANA or snap a photo of your own. When interest is high, share the new shopping cart selling link. That's the seven post rule, two plus four plus one. It's a winning formula that will add value and build trust. Get yourself on a schedule. You don't need to create your content just before you share it. You could create all your stories one day each week and then plan out when to post. Engagement happens when people respond to your post and you respond back. They might even share your story with their audience. Hashtag organic growth. Spread the love and engage with other people's stories. Be your awesome self and have fun. Consistency, not the amount of time you spend, is key. There's no reason social media needs to take over your life. Finally, analyze the success of your engagement on social media. Ask yourself, what kind of stories seem to be attracting the most interest? What time of day works best for your audience? Are you being consistent with your brand? What social media tips and tricks can you learn from others? What specific goals could you set to increase engagement next month? As with anything in your USANA business, it will take consistent effort and a little trial and error to maximize your time on social media. But soon, you can be regularly, strategically engaging with many people who are in search of the USANA lifestyle you have to offer. 
Imagine trying to build a USANA business without a phone. Today, social media is just as important. People of all ages from all walks of life are finding huge success with the four pillars of social media. Brand, stories, platform, engagement. Now that you've watched this video, watch it again. There's a lot of info here and it will help you to dive in and become a social media pro. Soon, it will be a natural part of your business and an authentic expression of you. You will add value to many lives and to your USANA business. Hashtag LiveUSANA.